Hey everybody, this is Robbie Pence with True Flame Tech. So I get this question a lot. How can I download all of my Google Photos, backups of my photos and videos that's on the Google Photos service right to my computer because I want to store it some other way or I want to manipulate a bunch of the files at once, whatever. So we're going to try to do this in like under five minutes, maybe under two. Let's see how fast we can get there. But first I want to just give you a quick explanation of what Google Photos is. Google Photos is the most excellent backup uh, service really that you can use as long as you trust someone else with your information you're okay with that I'm not even sure I am but let's pretend for the moment we are because I certainly you know have used services like this before um, and it's fantastic because Google Photos will back up all your photos videos well photos and videos I guess for free uh, under certain size limitations whether it's on your Android your iPhone your iPad your you know your PC or Mac as long as you install the Google Photos application or Google uh, backup and sync if you're on PC and Mac now I think they call it um, it's gonna back all this stuff up for free like all of it with very few exceptions like if you're trying to back up a movie obviously it's not gonna do like a 20 minute movie or something like that or more but you know with some within reason so it backs it all up automatically you do nothing and then automatically on all of those other devices you can see all that stuff and you can search it by face place whether there was a dog or a, a hand or a beach in the in, in the picture or video it knows and it will also automatically create uh, collages animations and home movies for you like automatically like you do literally nothing but install the application um, I've had it do amazing things uh, where it says oh hey look it looks like this person has been in your life for a while watch how they grow up and it had puts music to it it's automatic it's creepy but, <laughs> but it's cool it's actually way better than I ever could have done um, but without further ado let's get into how we can download all of our pictures off of uh, Google Photos uh, all of our videos off Google Photos all in one step so that we can, you know, have a separate, separate backup or move off of Google permanently. So here we go. Let's do that. All right. Coming in at 2 minutes 36 seconds right now, so let's get on to it. First thing you want to do is open up your Firefox or Google Chrome, your Internet Explorer, however you normally access the Internet. I have Firefox right here. I like it for privacy and speed. It doesn't suck as much now. Uh, so the easiest way to do it is straight up go to google.com if you already signed in with your Google Photos account um, you can just click on your face at the top right and it's gonna show you you know your email address that you signed up with and what you want to do is click on the big blue my account button next thing you want to do is scroll down to the center center of the page right there you can see my mouse moving right over there uh, and we're gonna click control your content right there control your content and it says download or transfer your content. This is fantastic. So we're going to click that big blue create archive button right there. Just want to give you enough time to see that right underneath the person on scooter. That image might change. Google changes stuff too often. But right now it says create archive. We're going to click create archive. And now it says, okay, well, what do you want an archive of? What do you want to download from Google? And then at this point, you start to understand how much of you that they own. Yeah, I mean, that sounds kind of conspiratorial, but literally, they, they, yeah, this is all Google services. You probably didn't even know Google owned YouTube. I, of course, did, but, yeah, it's a lot. But anyway, um, you know, it's the price you pay for the convenience that literally no one else can provide. <laughs> uh, Facebook and Amazon are getting close, though. All right, so uh, what we want to do is actually select none, select this button. We don't want to download all that information. It's crazy. We don't need it. Uh, we just want to scroll down to Google Photos. So let's find the Photos icon. It looks like a little pinwheel, same as on your phone or computer usually. We're going to hit the little toggle button right near it, and we're going to scroll down to Next. And all of these options are fine the way they are. Google's pretty good about figuring out how you want it. So basically how this works is Google's going to compress all these photos and videos and send them to you in big packages. And the only time you'd ever really want to change any of this stuff is if you want to send all of these photos and videos to another service, which is probably not why you're here. Uh, and 
you have a really fast internet connection. If you have a really fast internet connection, you can choose the 10 or 50 gigabyte chunks. <laughs> Otherwise, forget it. You don't have to understand anything of what I said. Just click the giant create archive button. I'm going to click the create archive button and magically they're going to go ahead and compress all that information. You're going to get an email at the account listed at the top right and um, you're going to just click the link in there. It's going to download like anything else, like you download something else. Uh, also, if you didn't have a lot there, it'll pop up automatically like it did on my screen and you can click download. But if you've been using it for a while, uh, it's going to take like a day. <laughs> it's going to take a while. Uh, also, it, just so you know, it's actually very, very normal for these downloads to fail. Try clicking it again, try waiting, try shutting down your computer, restarting it. Um, make sure you have a fast internet connection. Don't use like McDonald's Wi-Fi, it's not going to work. Um, just make sure you're not doing really anything else on the computer if you can help it. At least not on the internet while you're downloading this stuff. I've seen it crash. Um, computers crash browsers. Just not work. <laughs> So, anyway, that's it. That's all there is. That is how you download all of your information from Google. Honestly, you can check all those boxes, download it all, and say, Google, see you around. I'm not going to be here anymore. Or if you just want to have another backup, that's how you do it. So, thanks for joining us at True Flame Tech Channel. Give me a call or email or submit a ticket at T-R-U-E-F-L-A dot M-E, spelled like this. No.com. Again, that's T-R-U-E-F-L-A dot M-E. See you around.